All right, YouTube. Harbor Freight done got you, boy. I had to bend the knee and see what all the hype was with all this icon flyer business. Some say good, some say bad. I don't know. I don't know. But I decided to try it out. They don't seem, they don't seem too bad. I mean, pliers a needle nose. Y'all can see that pretty good. Comparing this to Snap-on. I don't own any Snap-on. I refuse to buy Snap-on because, for one, they overpriced. Not that I can't buy Snap-on, but I've made it far enough to where I don't need uh, Snap-on at all hose grips the handles feel pretty good you can see you see where they machine right there you can see that I wonder if they're gonna rust because I have some Pittsburgh that uh seen some use and they just started to rust The jaws on there look pretty good. I just wanted to touch bases. Mm. This one here, the casting on this look kind of rough, though. Oh, look at that. I don't know what's that about. Look like pitting in the casting. I don't know. Y'all tell me. Anybody else out there using these things have... Any major problems with them? The handles, like I said, the handles feel pretty good. They don't look all that bad. Jaws. Jaws on that one. I don't know. What does that say down there in the fine print? See, can I zoom in on that? Oh, wear eye protection. Okay. Diagonal cutters. These feel pretty good. Yeah, they got me. I said, you know what? I was due for some more pliers, and I got a couple of Hopper Freights close by, so I'm digging these pistol grips, though. I'm digging those. They don't, they don't seem bad. I mean, compared to a Stanley Black and Decker or some, some, you know, DeWalt. I haven't messed with the Milwaukee's yet. I might try those. But yeah, let me know down in the comments, y'all, what y'all think about this icon set. Yeah. Love it or hate it, I guess. I don't know. Time will tell. Time will tell. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe. Shoot me a message.